welcome back to another episode guys today i've got a pretty cool video so today we're gonna be doing a little bit of kayak fishing so i've showed up the boat ramp here and it is so busy um i've never been to this boat ramp before i've never even been to this part of the lake so i'm guessing that this must be like a hopping place there are a ton of people here a ton of people here fishing just talked to three separate dudes three three separate dudes who all said the same thing fish are biting fish are here get out there just go fishing and so that's what we're doing like i said got the kayak we're pre-fishing for a kayak tournament that i've got here saturday and so we're going to get out here on the water we're going to see what we can get done hopefully put a bunch of fish into the kayak hopefully get a really good idea of what i want to be doing on saturday when i do fish this tournament i mean it's good watercolor the water's really really far down but you know i don't think that that's going to affect the fishing too tremendously much um, especially on this part of the lake it's a lot deeper it's a lot clearer it's just a whole different kind of fishery up here um so yeah that's what we're doing let's get this kayak in the water and hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode two yearlings super interesting both on a 1.5 so I mean there's bass in the area just I gotta find those bigger than average fish I don't this is strange I had a pretty good bite on the bridge pylon before I actually come back into this one spot um, but I'm, I'm just not really sure what the deal with that is why these little ones I mean it gives me hope that there's bass in the area um, I'm throwing it spots four or five times before I pass them up to get fish to actually commit. So maybe it's just one of those deals that there's a ton of small fish in the area and that you just kind of got to fish through them to get to those bigger fish. But both of those fish um, come up under that bait, which makes me think that I might need to tie them a little bit deeper diving crankbait as well. Um, but obviously those fish are not going to help me in a tournament. I mean, I need 18, 19, 20 inch fish to help me in a tournament. But it seems that I've kind of figured out maybe what the right color is now it's just figuring out maybe what the right depth range is and figuring out um you know where are those bigger than average fish are living so that's why we practice though that's why we can pre-fish so that we can kind of figure out an area before we actually commit to uh to go in there and fishing for eight hours in a tournament and spending money so we're gonna stay after it here i'm gonna fish the rest of the way up this rip wrap there's a ton of bait in here there's a ton of people in here as well, which makes me think that obviously the fish are biting in here. I mean, I've been jockeying with position on several places with several people. You can see those guys just pulled in behind me and now they're leaving just because of how busy it actually is back in here. So fish are here, bait's here. Now it's just trying to figure out where those bigger than average fish are at or how to get those bigger than average fish to eat. So stay after it. So what I'm thinking is I'll go up this bank with a 1.5 and then I'll go back down this bank with something a little more deep diving, um, maybe bandit or a rock crawler or something like that. Uh, obviously I don't got a depth finder on my kayak, which is something that I probably need just for water temperature and all that, but you know, I'm kind of a purist when it comes to kayak fishing, but you can definitely tell I'm not grinding the bottom with a 1.5. So there's definitely some depth here. So like I say, go up this, with 1.5 and then go back down with that with something that dives a little bit deeper because i found sometimes you got to kind of get past those smaller fish those smaller fish want to hang up a little bit shallower there we go now that's a little bit better um 
Definitely not kayak size. I may just stay with the 1.5, I don't know. I don't know if this one's gonna help me in a tournament. We'll put it on the board real quick and see. But what I was saying is, I may go up through here with the 1.5 and then go back down through here with a rock conch. I mean, dives a little bit deeper because sometimes you've got to get down past those smaller fish. Those smaller fish wanna kinda of suspend up and the bigger fish will be hanging down a little bit deeper. Um, but that's, well, that's one 12 incher. I mean, that's definitely something. We're catching fish, so that's good. Um, I just need I just need 18 and 19 inch fish, not 12 inch fish, which is funny, man. I mean, there's a ton of fish up here. There's a ton of fish eating in it. I mean, it honestly may be a color change thing. It may be a bait thing. It could be a thousand factors. I mean, I may be able to switch up to a white and start crushing bigger fish. Um, I talked to a guy at the boat ramp, said that they're catching them on white and crawl colors. So, just have to see. All right, so here's the plan. I am packing up and moving to a completely different part of the lake. Um, there's just so many people up here on this part of the lake that put in at this ramp. They're all fishing around here. They're crappie fishing, striper fishing, bass fishing. I've been playing hopscotch with a guy in a Triton for the past 30 minutes, and every time I feel like I can go move somewhere, he sits down on the big motor and goes over there and cuts me off, which it's whatever. I mean, you know, people people can be douchebags, but uh, that's it's whatever. I'm going to go to a different part of the lake where I feel like there's more stuff to fish. The problem with what I'm seeing here is there's just not enough to fish. Um, so, you know, I'm running into that guy everywhere that I go, and every time I try to pull up on something, there's somebody sitting on it, or I go around a bridge pylon, and there's somebody sitting there. And so I know some different parts of the lake that set up a lot like this where those fish should be on that same kind of stuff rip wrap around bridge pylons um, places where there's a cut through where those fish can kind of stage before they move back onto the flats but there's just a ton more of it I can go run miles and miles and miles of it in my kayak and not have to pick up and move around a whole lot because the problem here is it's just so isolated there's a little bit in the back of this pocket and there's some around that bridge but other than that there's just not a ton of that so I feel like if that's what they're doing which this is giving me a really good clue um, that I can go run a ton of that and probably get the bites that I need because that's just the way I fish guys I find a little bit of a pattern and I just run 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 as much of it as I possibly can and pick through the smaller fish and try to find the big fish so that's the plan we're gonna go back up here to the boat ramp get everything loaded back up head towards that new spot and hopefully keep catching them on the 1.5 because that's the way I like to catch them but I'll see you there number two let's go figure this crap out this is uh, a lot more of kind of what I want to be doing tied on a couple different things tied on a white swim jig tied on a chatterbait with a jackhammer and uh, I'm keeping that 1.5 on but I mean a absolute cubic shit ton of shad down here um, so I'm thinking this may be just a little bit better a ton of shad a ton of things in here feeding on the shad and so yeah let's fish and uh, See what we can get down here. Switch back to Raven Red and see what happens. I swear sometimes that God like skin hook. Um, I swear sometimes that going against the grain of what these fish are feeding on can get a bite. Sometimes. So, let's see how long this one is. Ten 
nature. I need his big brother. That's what I need. I need his big brother. But back to the Raven Red. About a third cast. Caught one. So I'm sticking with the Raven Red. Ain't tournament winning fish, that's for certain. But close your mouth. Close your mouth. All right, there you go. <laughs> it's not what we're looking for, but it's fish. I mean, it may be a thing that someone's already come through here and caught all the big ones. I don't know. I threw that spot about 12 times, and oh, it's progress though. It's progress. That's all that matters. Marty, what's your reasoning on why Andy is not? I'm just as baffled as these guys are. I know how good this lake is. I mean, I, I, the research said it. I'm not going on just a that is killer killer. hilarious. Or a, the, uh, <laughs> anecdotal. Non factor. I've talked to too many people. This lake is slammed full of fish and slammed full of fish. But I'll go, I've said this. I that think is freaking funny. Do it. But you and I've seen I it. saw that pop Small in the water. Take on a person out. I threw in there. I think there should be a fish on that pop that I've caught fish off of a thousand and two times. And sure enough, there was. Uh, is he a giant? No. Is he a fish? Yes. Is he bleeding? Yes. Did he eat it crazy? Yes. Why am I talking to myself like this? I don't know. With Daniel, I like the fact that he's out in the wind. Okay. You'll move yourself out of doing your own Okay. There you go, guys. He's bleeding pretty bad, so we're going to get him back in the water. There you go. Get out of here. All right. Yeah. He'll be good. He'll be good. He just needs to get. Back in the water quick. So. It becomes huge. Good sign though. There's one sitting on that pipe. You, I passed by that pipe and I thought there ought to be a fish sitting right there. And sure enough, I threw that 1.5 in there and there is a fish on that pipe. So that was probably a 12 inch fish. Um, honestly, I'm going to be very interested to see what's actually going to win this tournament. Um, I mean, unless somebody's found some big ones somewhere, which, by the looks of it, there ain't no telling. Well, guys, I think we're going to end today's video right here. End the practice day right here. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not what I wanted. Um, definitely didn't find the fish, the quality of fish that I wanted. Found a ton of bait found some areas that I think can be productive um, I'm gonna come back out here Friday fish one more day go fish again another completely different area and just see if there's something that I can find um, this is just crazy I mean there's a ton of fish in here they're all feeding and I just can't get them to eat uh, I think a lot of it just has to do with there is an absolutely massive amount of bait in here um, like millions millions of shad and it's hard to get them to eat when there's that many shad they don't want to focus on your 1.5 they want to focus on the shad swimming around them and they just get so hyper focused in there that you really just have to get them to react to something and that's what i've been kind of doing all day 
Um, but there's some rain moving in. Looks like there may be a little thunder with it. I got to jump on a conference call and uh, do all that kind of good stuff. So like I said, we're going to end it right here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I will have another video from Friday. Um, I have the next two weeks off after this week um, because of all the junk with the coronavirus and all that. And so I'm going to have a ton of time to be fishing and I'm hoping to have content out for you guys at least three to four days a week while we're going through this time. So yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go leave them. Go down in the description. You can check out all the clothes I was wearing, baits I was throwing, even the kayak that I was fishing and all that kind of stuff. I'll have it linked down below. But as always, you guys are sweet. Thanks for watching.